a pleasant day, STEM learners. This is again Sir Peter, your pre calculus teacher. For today's discussion, we will still have more problems on conic sections. This will be the last part. This time, we will solve situational problems involving conics. Let's proceed to problem number one. A road tunnel with a semicircular arc is 26 meters in diameter. The height of the tunnel at the end of each lane is 5 meters. Determine the length of the two road lanes. Notice that given a circle with radius 13, the radius 13 came from the idea that the diameter of the circle is 26 meters. Using the standard of the equation of a circle center at 0, 0, we will use x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared as a pattern. As you observe, considering that we have a semicircular tunnel, so we only consider this part of the circle. Therefore, the vertex that we are referring to for the of the road panel is 0, 13, as reflected in this problem. The height of the tunnel is given on the problem at the edge of the road. And the length of one of the road lanes is being asked in the problem. So x is equal to, we still do not know, with a given height at the edge of the tunnel which is y equals five meters. On the other side of the tunnel also lies this height because the two road lanes are symmetrical with each other. Again, we do not know the x value here, but what we know is that the height of the tunnel at the edge of each lane is five. So we can assign coordinates for this value, so we have negative x, 5, and on this part, we have x, 5. So to get the length of the road lanes, we need to add the um, length here and the length here. So we just double it. Now we can solve. So again, we use the standard equation of circle center at 0, 0. So we have x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. And since our r is 13, given the diameter 26, so we'll have x squared plus y squared is equal to 13 squared. Evaluate 13 squared, we will get x squared plus y squared equal to 169. Since we are looking for one of the length of the road lane, which is x and y, which is five, we substitute the values. So we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 169. We transpose five squared on the other side so that is 169 minus 25. So we'll have x squared is 169 minus 25 is 144. Therefore, the length of one of the road lanes is 12 meters. So on this side, with a height of five meters, is 12 meters. On the other side, we also have 12 meters. Although on the Cartesian plane, it's negative 12, still the length is 12. Again, the height at the edge of the tunnel is at 5 meters. Adding 
12 meters plus 12 meters will determine the length of the road lanes. So the final answer will be 24 meters, which is also represented by the value 2x. And that is what is being asked in the problem. So the final answer is 24 meters. Any question? Now, let us proceed on the second problem. A cable hangs in a parabolic arc between two columns 140 feet apart. The columns are 50 feet high at the lowest point on the suspended cable is 20 feet above the ground. Find the standard equation of the parabolic arc if the vertex is at the lowest point of the cable. So this time, we need to find the standard equation of the parabola. Imagine that this parabolic um, design is a suspension bridge. And on its suspension bridge, they are 140 feet apart. So that is 70 here, and then in here is negative 70. So that is the distance away from the two columns. So the height of the column is 50, as well as on this side, it's 50. Connecting the bridge. So the entire bridge has vertical columns on it. Okay, to support the bridge. Now, given the coordinates of these points, we already know the distance of the two columns from the center of the, from the middle part, I mean, is at, in here, it is negative 70, 50. And in here, we have 70, 50. Completing 70 and 70 here will make 140. Okay? And observe the vertex is located 20 feet above the ground. So therefore, the vertex is at 0, 20. Notice that the given parabola or suspension bridge is a parabola which opens upward. So therefore, we're going to use this as a pattern. The formula for a parabola which opens upward is quantity x minus h squared is equal to 4c times the quantity y minus a. Or to simplify, instead of using 4c, we will use a instead. So we will equate 4c is equal to a which gives us the length of the latus rectum. To solve the given problem, let's write first the coordinates of the vertex. Again, the vertex is at 0, 20. Therefore, age is equal to 0, and k is equal to 20. Then the x value is 70 and the y value is 50, which represents the height of the columns. Now we write the standard equation as quantity x minus h squared is equal to a times the quantity y minus k squared. So take note that 4c is equal to a, so no need to multiply it by 4. We'll just consider a as the latus recto itself. Substituting the values, so we will have 70 minus h is 0 squared is equal to a times the quantity y. y is, sorry, 50. Then k is 20. So we'll have 30a is equal to 70 squared. 
So we'll have 4,900 is equal to 38. Dividing both sides by 30, So our A value now is 4,900 divided by 30. So the common factor is divided by 10. So that is 490 over 3. Forming now the standard equation, we will have the quantity x minus 0 squared is equal to 490 over 3 times the quantity y minus 20. Now, how do we obtain the c value? Since a is equal to 4c, so 490 over 3 is equal to 4 C, dividing both sides by 4. So the C value now is 490 over 12. So if you want to find the C distance, that is 490, I'm sorry, 490 over 12, or yeah, we can still simplify this one. 490 over 12 can be rewritten as 245 over six, so that's it, okay, that's the simplified form. But since the question is asking for the standard equation, this is enough, okay? And still, um, let's simplify this more because we have an x minus zero squared. So the final answer will be x squared is equal to 490 over three, times the quantity y minus 20. So this is what is being asked in the problem. I hope that it's clear. So we are now done with week number five, more problems on conic sections. And our next week, we'll talk about the systems of non linear equations. Did you learn something for today? Again, these are the references used in this presentation. This is Sir Peter, your pre-calculus teacher.